Hi, I just wanted to make a short video uh, because there's some things I've never covered and posted on YouTube that were some experiences I had and uh, Mark, my brother in Christ, witnessed or vice versa. And I wanted, I've been saying I'd make a record of it, so I wanted to. Um, one in particular was an incident, you probably heard a little bit about if you're following Mark's channel, that uh, I had gone to a diner with Mark and, and it was a time where I was just getting bolder in witnessing for Christ and talking about the end times because we've been seeing everything going on in the world. Um, and so I kind of made a point of it. I can't say it, it wasn't Holy Spirit led and, and it's always best and maybe only should be, you know, when it's that way. But I was trying to test myself, I think. So I sat down next to some man and Mark was on the other side of me at a counter at a diner. And I think I just began the conversation with the man. He was in overalls and uh, like paint spattered shoes. And I don't even remember if I started it off with like, you know, some just general comment and then as soon as possible said, well, you know, we're living in the end, end times, right? And when that, when he heard that, his whole persona changed. The guy at first just seemed like a lackadaisical kind of, hey, kind of guy. From that moment, um, he became really animated and loud and he started getting really argumentative. And uh, there were lots of people at the counter and I could tell he was doing it to get as much attention as possible because he was going to make the worst possible case for the Bible, for Christ, for everything that he could within earshot of these people. So I noticed that he had a very bloodshot right eye. And what I had asked him at first was so, uh, uh, oh, are you a painter? Because he had clearly got painter's uh, clothing on. And he said, no, I'm an architect. I make things crooked. And that's when, and then the conversation took off and it got dramatic and loud and volatile even. Um, and and uh, he was trying to involve other people and they were talking about, you know, missing books in the Bible and you never know how much it's been changed, all this stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me. <coughs> and I knew that I was being led along. I was aware of it. And Mark's tapping me on the shoulder like, you know, and eh, just back off, back off, because we aren't supposed to be um, striving and contentious and obnoxious or anything like that. And I don't think I was being that, but I was being kind of persistent because I was focused on getting to one thing. I wanted him to say out loud with an earshot of everybody that he'd never read the Bible. And I don't, I think we got there at one point, but I was just, I was fairly calm and I was trying to counter some of his arguments, but really what I was driving towards was that. But that really happened. And I saw him a week or two later when I went down on my own one morning. He looked at me like he'd never met me and just went and sat down. So I'm very sure that was a demonic kind of uh, instance, whether he has a demon or something jumped in him. But it was very um, startling. And what's very cool actually is when Mark had come to recuperate at my house from his car accident, he said, don't be surprised if you start seeing things happen around you because they've been happening to him so much for so long. And I'd been witness to that because I'd been following his channel for quite a while. And I had both heard of some of the things that happened to him, but I also witnessed dreams that he had, that he posted that came to pass. And just before he came, uh, he had encountered a woman who knew things that she couldn't possibly have known and another person who worked at the hotel Mark was staying at on his trip. They looked at each other and Mark said, you know that that is a demonic spirit. And she went, yes, because there was no way she knew the things she knew which had to do with me and that I had paid for him to have a night at that hotel after his car accident, his truck accident so that he could you know, rest and recuperate. He was very sick and he was headed east. Um, and that's when this began hitting me as well as in his sphere. 
And then on my YouTube page and on my Facebook since then, people started re uh, leaving really awful comments. And um, yeah, so these, these supernatural, strange, demonic things were happening. Um, the other thing was just to say that I definitely was there and witnessed the dream Mark had the several days right before the stock market did fall 666. He had had a dream, he told me about it, the bull, the money falling out of the bottom, the guy stuffing it back in while he smiled at him like, you know, this will just be our little secret. And we talked about it the morning that he'd had the dream and understood that it was about the financial markets with this bull, that's a bull market that was going up towards the ceiling and how did you even get on it? And uh, it was saying it was high it was going to fall. They'd keep the illusion going for a while by making it look fine. Um, and then the day after, a couple days after it fell 666, it fell another thousand. Anyway, I've been witness to many dreams and then the events that happened, like the engines roaring twice and then two separate times of massive earthquakes in the United States. Another time where the screaming red car came into view with the engines roaring and then melted. And that was just prior to the earthquake and volcanoes in Hawaii. So anyway, I think one of the reasons the Lord uh, brought me and Mark together as brother and sister in Christ and for what we're doing now in Tennessee is to be witness to one another, to strengthen and edify and comfort and to do the Lord's will in preparing a place that will be not not a long-term sanctuary, but a, a little bit of a haven when the things happen that are going to happen. All right, so that's just a quick testimony. Um, there's other things I wanted to say, but it is dark, and uh, this is long enough, so I'll just post it. Um, I'm meeting amazing people here in Tennessee, some who are wide awake, uh, although as Mark often says, no one comes up to us to say, you do know we're living in the end times, but there's a lot more people here who know everything we know, who are having dreams and visions, who see the signs of the times, they know all the prophetic things happening, um, and, and, and the depths that the society is falling to in the U.S. and around the world, and it is so anti-God and anti-Christ. So that's been exciting to see that there are so many believers here, and the Lord, the spot he led us to specifically, um, has neighbors who are that believing and awake. And they feel blessed that, you know, we're in the neighborhood and we feel blessed knowing them. So I pray to God this will be a pocket of light and that I know the Lord will do great things because he is a great and mighty God. And all honor and praise and glory to our Lord Jesus Christ and to the Father. And God bless you all in the name of our Lord. Jesus Christ. Amen. Good night.